What do you mean by crystallization? Crystallization in finance refers to the process of selling an asset and then immediately repurchasing it for tax purposes. Open positions in financial markets result in unrealized capital gains or losses, which are only recognized when the position is closed or liquidated. Crystallization allows investors to realize these gains or losses without losing exposure to the asset they believe will continue to perform well. The method enables investors to adjust their portfolio's net worth while managing tax obligations efficiently. When investors sell an asset to crystallize a capital gain or loss, tax regulations are applied once the holdings are liquidated. This strategy is commonly used to realize capital losses, which can then offset other gains or income for tax purposes. However, in many countries, there are tax regulations aimed at preventing excessive use of crystallization, ensuring that such losses can only be claimed under certain conditions, for instance, an investor who holds 100 shares of stock bought at £100, which has appreciated to £135, would not realize the capital gain until the stock is sold. Upon liquidation, the capital gain would be £3,500, 135 to £100 x 100 shares. By crystallizing the gain, the investor locks in the profit. Crystallization is also common in real estate, where a property is sold to realize a capital gain or loss. The process is similar for other material investments. One popular method involves selling assets with unrealized losses to realize the loss and then repurchasing the same asset. This strategy reduces taxable gains and is particularly useful for investors seeking exposure to the same stock. However, in countries like the US and Canada, laws prevent investors from claiming a tax loss if they repurchase the same stock within 30 days, adding a regulatory layer to crystallization.